guys and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer card game review today's game up on the tabletop is called magda and magda is about trying to escape your ship magda is by gilgamesh games the same people who made uh, the cats of uther and in the game magda you're simply going to be trying to get three assets off of three missions from three planets magda is the ship in which you are flying on or the computer in the ship and much like uh, the space odyssey 2001 uh, you're basically have to deal with how same kind of thing which they don't really want you to leave uh, she has basically grown attached to you and wants to keep you there forever and whenever you try to do certain things to accomplish missions to try and escape then she is going to try and stop you in which case you're going to need to try and thwart her in certain ways there's instant losses that can happen based on the board state that you have and there's also things that are going to mess with your ship which can eventually lock you in place for all eternity in space a crazy little theme definitely let's go ahead and take you down below and show you how it plays as a solo player game and then what I think about it. So here you have the game Magda and everything included and let's go over everything. The first thing is you'll have the stern and the bow of the ship. You'll take the, these out separately and place them next to each other and this will form your ship which if it ever gets destroyed you will lose the game. You're also going to get crew member plot cards which will include these three here. You're going to shuffle them up and you're going to deal out three in each of these columns here and additionally you're going to take out a random manifest from this deck and place it over here. This is the beginning start of your board these are the three things you need in order to succeed you'll need these three missions completed with their assets on top of them before you can use the home card to escape magda and this is magda's deck right here magda is basically going to try and stop you at every turn whenever you play a card that isn't a distance card it's basically going to draw a card from here and see if you lose or see if she does something mean to you or your ship or even your crew members this is the rule book for the game which we can now set aside so how to play the game now that you have your little starting area here and you've got your beginning of the board your magna card set as well as your crew pilots card set you're going to be able to have two things you can either take cards from the top of either of your columns and place them down on the board here or you can draw cards from this deck and place them down now, and generally you're probably going to want to have this deck of cards in your hand because you're going to be just be flipping them and you can flip them as fast as you want there's no real uh consequence for doing so but there are a couple cards in here that can kind of mess with you as well now uh, there's a bunch of different types of cards in the deck there's going to be distance cards which you need to be placing between planets in order to gain new planets there's going to be uh, missions which you'll place on planets that you can place any on any planet and then there's assets that need to be placed on very specific missions and if you get your asset on your mission that's going to complete one of your three goals but remember it has to be an asset from a mission that you have on this manifest card however you can obviously switch this manifest card with other ones in your crew member plot or pilot card deck so let's go ahead and begin we've got a therapist here we have an asset for theta and we do actually need mission theta on the board and then we have a repairing uh, alien ship technology so what I'm going to do is take this card here which is a very specific type of card and that's called a crew member I'm going to place it next to the magna deck she will help you throughout the game and it tells you what she can do you can sacrifice her at any time and it will let you search for a mission card of your choice so she's pretty useful but I'll just leave her there for now then I can go ahead and flip. I can choose that space there or any of the other spaces. I can actually place them on top of each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these two here, but I could have chosen to just place this one and then use it. This is a movement card. I can simply take it and place it on any of the areas here on the manifest card next to the arrows. When you place an arrow next to an arrow with a movement, now it'll let you play a planet, which is nice because this one here, Planet Sorbonne, will let me place it right here. Now I just need to get a mission. So let's go ahead and flip over another one. And that is an asset for an Om Omnicron, which we also need as well. Okay, hopefully I get a mission over here. Oh, I did. So this is mission Omnicron. Um, now remember, whenever you place a planet or a mission or an asset, you're going to draw a magnet card. So because I played this little planet here, I have to draw one of these cards and see what happens. Uh, so I'll flip that over. I'm your only friend. This one basically says, if you have both your crew members out next to Magna, you instantly lose the game. So glad I only have one. If I had both the engineer and the therapist, I would have lost. So this will go ahead and be set aside. It's discarded. And now I can actually play my mission. So I'll go ahead and play Mission Omnicron because I need Mission Omnicron. And then I have to draw another Magna card. And this one says, they just didn't have your stamina. Magna submits your crew to nightmares in the dream engine. The process creates a permanent uh catatonic state in all victims which means all of your crew member members die so in this case this poor gal has become a 
dead. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, so I got Mission Omicron. Now I need an asset for Omicron, which is this Purity Orb. So I'll place that there. That's one of the three conditions I needed to finish the game. If I can get two more, I'll win. Let's go ahead and see what Magda does again, because I played a Purity Orb. Oh, why have two homes? Magda gets nervous when she sees you will soon arrive at your home world um, and scrambles all onboard computers or onboard mapping. It says, uh, any visible home card in both this area here or uh, in your queue is going to be tucked at the bottom of your deck. Luckily, there's no home card here, so this is simply going to get discarded, but otherwise it would be uh, pretty nasty. So let's go and flip another card. That's a planet. I can't use that right now. That is the Magda is sleeping. So I'm not going to use that right now either. I'll place that. That is an asset for Upsilon. I don't have Upsilon, so that's not needed either. Mission Zeta. Nope, don't need that either. Uh, Mission Valdrek or Planet Valdrek. That's not so bad, but I'm also going to need a, uh, a distance card. So let's go ahead and start flipping these guys over. It's a manifest. I don't want that one. Planet, uh, an asset. Planet, Mission Sigma. So I'm starting to cover up things I actually need. There's the home card I need to win the game. Oh no, none of these are what I want. Ooh, there we go, finally. I'm, I can now place that there, which will allow me to move to a new planet. So I will place this planet over here because I always have to have a distance card or a movement card with a planet. Magda is gonna act again. Uh-oh, one of my pieces of my ship has now been damaged. If another one gets damaged, I lose the game. Uh, manifest card, I think is what I want to do. Well, let's see. This thing says it's a planet. I need, I need a mission, and none of these are missions, so I will flip these over. Let's try and find a mission that I need. Uh, set planet, so on and so forth. And you just keep going until you find mission Upsilon. I don't need that one, unfortunately. Mission was that gamma? Mm, nope. I need theta, omicron, and sigma. And so I basically keep going. Uh, mission Omega, Mission Theta. There it is. I need this one here so I can put this mission on here. I'm going to flip it over. Oh no, you can't fool me. If four or more travel cards are in the field, so there's two travel cards, uh, then what would happen is she would retaliate and permanently put you in the dream world and I would lose. Luckily, that's not the case, so it gets discarded. And I would basically keep going throughout the game. When all these cards get placed down, you're going to take them up and shuffle them up and deal out again and keep going. And if you can get all three of your missions complete before Magda kills you, basically, you're going to win the game. Can you defeat this uh, little possessive uh, computer system or uh, will you be stuck in the dream world forever? That will be up to you in this solo player game, Magda. All right, let's come up and talk about it. So what do I think about Magda? Well, first of all, let's talk about some more of her cards because that's the most interesting thing about this game, in my opinion, is what she can do. If three planets are visible in the field, she retaliates by shutting down your life support and you lose. If you had three, have three visible assets on the field, you were to you wake up and realize it was just an illusion in the dream engine. Magda actually sent you to the outer side of the universe. You lose. There's plenty of ways to lose, but luckily there's a lot of ways to prevent that from happening. There's also how many times you want to go ahead and go through your tableau and place things down. You have to be as meticulous as you can with your tableau. It's very, very important how you choose to place cards down because it could result in you losing if you're not careful. Uh, the home card. If you just laid down the home card to win, Magda panics. She floods the ozone and ozone with poisonous gas and you lose. Luckily, there are cards like Trick Magda that will actually have you stop certain cards like this, but uh, that one specifically and others will not allow you to use that card. So you have to be careful when you choose to play cards. And sometimes it might be best to even wait to win the game just in case there's a card like that that's going to pop up. This game's artwork is great. Love the sci-fi theme. Love the feel of the game. I really 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 enjoyed this one just because it felt like I was trying to do everything I could to thwart her. The first time I played this game I lost in about five seconds. It was pretty pretty devastating uh, but it was five seconds. I just went ahead and started over again. It was no big deal. In a game like this, especially solitaire games, if you lose real quick, you just go back into it. Sometimes it can happen by random chance where it's just, oh, that just happened to be the thing I did, which it made me lose the game. And I guess in the real world, that's how it can work as well. So thematically, it works really good. Whereas on a game standpoint, it might be kind of irritating for some of you. However, that doesn't change the fact that I really enjoyed how it felt when I lost at certain points. Most of the time in this game, you are very, very close to winning or you win off the 
skin of your teeth. In fact, even when you play your home card down, you don't win. You have to actually flip over another card to make sure that she doesn't instantly kill you, which can happen in this game. I really, really enjoyed my time with this game. I, I, I like the fact that it has that theme of kind of that space odyssey with the robots trying to keep you in. All the cards have this thematic feel to them and you actually are like, oh, I just got my ozone vaporized after literally just placing the home card. I was so close to winning and bam, just like a horror movie, she comes back with a last little surprise or I've got my therapist and my engineer. I'm gonna save these guys and not use them. And oh, because I didn't actually use them when I should have, now I suffer the consequences and both of them choose to kill me due to her mind controlling them. It's a lot of fun. I like the fact that they included in the pilot cards certain cards that you can utilize as long as they're up on the field to stop her or to help yourself in some way and it gives you that sense of when you place down cards in your tableau it does matter which column you place them in and how you place them because burying your cards will make you have to reshuffle and that can be potentially bad or even hazardous. And all of that, but there's the manifest cards. You can choose to kind of change your objectives in the game. You need to go to these three locations and complete what you need to do, what you're set out to do in the game, or in the movie is almost what it feels like, kind of, which is kind of cool. And if you can do that, you're going to go ahead and try and get home. And it, it just feels good. I really enjoyed this game pretty profusely. Those of you who don't like uh, games where you can instantly lose, which can happen in this game, or that have some kind of luck as to what cards are going to get drawn, or those that are don't like games that are pretty difficult, because this one is a very challenging game as to how you want to manage your tableau it really makes a difference where you place cards down and how you place them so those can be things that are either really positive on one side or negative for certain people that do not like that specific type of feeling in a game i really enjoyed this game this is my favorite solo player themed game so far i just cannot get enough of going through the different planets and whatnot and trying to acquire the missions and complete the act with the assets and having to deal with the computer system who has just gone awry that might be due to the fact that i just like horror movies and sci-fi movies and this kind of gives me a little mix in between overall though just really enjoyed this if you think you might as well if you're a solo player gamer this might be right up your alley a little bit of luck a little bit of strategy all kind of mixed into one big evil deathly machine trying to keep you silenced forever take a look down below magda if it sounds like something you'd like to take a look at